Yep, she has the M11 Wraith, level 5. And Javik is sporting the Adas Anti-Synthetic Rifle 5. While Garrus is sporting the N7 Typhoon, level 5. I leveled again? Oh shit. Oh, yeah. Well, if I could take the aquari aquarium with me, <laughs> I would. <laughs> okay, lift grenades. Only seven levels left. And be max level. Level 60. Normandy shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What, what, what? what do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th platoon will cover your flight, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Alright, you guys are sporting your weapons. Turn on your ammo. Hey! I'm busy! I'm busy turning on my ammo! How dare you! It won't let me climb up. Oh god. <laughs> Let's move it, people. Get behind some thing. Keep your heads down. We're getting heavy resistance here. Entrance sighted. We're on the move. Push forward. Yay, let me climb up. That's not what I pushed. That's not what I pushed. So all these explosions are just for practice. Really doesn't do anything to you. It's just there for show. Once we reach the bomb, I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Copy that. No trigger, no explosion. Oh dear. Oh, 
Charge! Um... He's up to the charge! That's a turret. That's bad news. Garrus, don't you think it's a little early to be talking right now? We're in the middle of a battle here. I can't see what's going on! Why is it? I don't even have anything connected to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot stuff back there. Uh -huh. You can slide over that rebar. Okay, game. I think it was coming from my right side of my ear. Seems more than forty four meters. Agreed. Let's go. Cowards. Planet killer, hidden under the ruins. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. I hope Victus knows what he's doing. We won't get a second chance. We gotta move, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Get Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. We're nearly on top. 
top of the bomb. Cerberus will be back with everything they've got. It was a mistake to allow us to get this far. What the? like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. <gasps> Side mission. <laughs> trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. <gasps> Snippers! Okay. Didn't have your barriers up. Commander, focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. The careless like Jenkins. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Understood. We got company. Go, go, go. go. Was a hell of a charge. Okay. Uh, hi there, guy. Shepard, you're not hitting anybody. You're using a horrible weapon right now. Charge in there!
victory at any cost. Bambi, pull him! Javik, pull him! We have both we both have double pulls! No! Tyrion's took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and war is expected. He did us proud, but... We're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. He died a hero. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Duh. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Hack it out. You hack it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Exactly. Hey. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <clears throat> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. What? No? You could have told her. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. My son. He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. I thought he walked away. What's he doing back? <laughs> Turian Blackwatch. Shouldn't they already be helping the Krogan or the Turians? Why, why are they helping out with the <laughs> war assets? Down the road, maybe? Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first. To lose their son to this war. Nope. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. That's all. Of course, Commander. The 
Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. Just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the Genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now is there something you need? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. I had a buddy who got discharged. Category six after Eden Primes. That's six? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But... She's over here. But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, Trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. And not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Commander? Jessica from Dear Commander Shepard, my name is Jessica from. You saved my life on Benning. Oh, one of the two, okay. <laughs> I've lost so many friends and all this, but I hope. But I find hope in the idea that the memory lives on in me. I know I'm just one woman, but I wanted to let you know that you're making a real difference. Bless you, Commander Jessica from. Yeah, welcome, Jessica. Bambi, ah, savior of the universe. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Very true. Or the truth. The real truth. <laughs> you gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander? What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders enter their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper's gonna be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Enact laws? There's actually a government still together? They're able to do these things. Okay. Hello, Shepard. I think they'll all be hiding in their bunker. Hey, fish. Squeaky. The 
last drop on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Always good to see you, Commander. But they still can hold down Eden Prime. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. You never met him! Ready when you are. Can I level it? Tell me I can level it. <laughs> no! I'm up to 74k. Holy shit. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. What, is he going to visit the ship? Commander. Bambi hasn't been informed of this visit. visit. Gabi, have you ever seen recordings of Liara's mother, Matriarch Venezia? Yes, what about her? And remember Samara, the Asari Justica? Where are you going with this, Kenneth? Have you noticed that older Asari women seem to be a bit more ample? Do you think they just keep going? <laughs> Kenneth. I think I'll spend my sunset days in an Asari retirement home. If I don't kill you first. <laughs> Commander. Nothing to report. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are cunning. Uh huh. And by addition, you mean slave race. Subservient race. <laughs> right. Calling it that makes all. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes, nothing struggles, nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. <laughs> there is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Uh, wait, you four scopes on a sniper rifle? <laughs> okay. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes? Hey, they went back to the rooms. Good for them. Yeah. No, that would mm, perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a could. Ah, uh, but he should test with me. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> but he's censoring himself. Just as much in the dark as you, honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. <laughs> Rex must be right above them. <laughs> Of the floor plating. They're both looking up there every time Rex speaks. <laughs> I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. You think so? Another time.
Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Uh, did they have a vote on this or something? The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. Perhaps we can talk later. What we got? Weapon damage, shields. Weapon damage, shields. Weapon damage, shields. Weapon damage. A pleasure to see you. So we are at the point of the game where almost Act One is almost over with. So that means I have to clear up every side quest that I can. It means this one, uh, this one. No, I think that's that's an Act Two. That's DLC. I gotta clear up that one. I think that's Act Two. I think that's Act Two. And these are here forever because I never found them and I didn't get the main mission. That means I gotta go back to the city deal. Well, first I gotta check the universe to see if everything's at 100%. Because once you start this, this is the end of Act 1. And any side missions you haven't cleared up that can be cleared up is over. No going back. What the hell is here? I think the book of Plex is. Oh, this is Grissom. Books of Plex, I think that's Act 2. I don't know why they give you side quests, so you have to wait till Act 2. Do this one? I don't know. Apparently, I did. Yeah, that was a waste of fuel. Than light jump successful. Okay, then. Gonna make the roundabouts on the Citadel. Check the stores for any upgrades. Cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Bar Levan is gone from the bank. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. You get the quorum, Vera. <laughs> ah, there's the conduit. Thermal conduit. I have to buy one of these armors for like uh, achievements. I ain't buying the service one. <laughs> Please I guess I can just buy this one. Get it out of the way. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. 
Give my achievement. Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk. These are two different things. You're important to me, but I... It's not healthy to rush from one relationship to another. Well, I need to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits. And that includes my apartment. Okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. I thought I had. Ooh. And I cherish the time we've had together. But... Yeah. Damn! Let her astray. She was breaking up her relationship for you. Come on. Can't blame the matriarchs for keeping yeah. an eye on Say you. goodbye to her father. I am not my mother. It is threatened to play someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going Yeah, the that uh, the, the the armor sign it looks like it's more of a like a soldier armor. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten by the stats that I saw. Uh oh. I gotta break the bad news. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Helium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Oh. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should. I need to go. She was about to say I should go. Uh, yeah, true. But uh, she has uh, soldiers don't have biotic powers, and Vanguard uses a lot of biotic powers. Charge. I don't know what Nova is. I don't know if Nova is a tech or a biotic power. I think it's a tech because. Charge and Nova are two separate things. I think, yeah, Nova just works off of shields. Welcome to Nosostra's Sporting Goods. I haven't researched into it, so I could be wrong. I wouldn't doubt it. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, all purchases made by Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine as AM Trading Limited. Killing Chambers, James Aria Sane, Commander Bailey, Ambassador Dominic Osaba. Oh, yep, Benning. Oh, I guess uh, Steve doesn't meet up with you in the what do you call it? The, 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 the club for drinks until Act Two. As far as I know, the only time you can change your class is the beginning of a new game. So yeah, you can change the class. It asks you what kind of class you want to pick before you uh, you start the new game. Character creation. It took me a long time to get a feel for Vanguard because I never played this game and the first game really 
you don't have Vanguard charts, so it's 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 a big step from one to two when if you've never played the game before. And I started on Insanity, so I really dove head first into the difficulty. And the first game does not feel like you're playing on Insanity. For me, it felt like I was playing on Normal. I hardly died on the first game. And I was, that was my first playthrough. And that was off, uh, off stream. I'm getting better. <laughs> I still have, I still have much to improve on. I have spoken to you before. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benning. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Using Hades Gamma as a staging area, Reaper forces have rapidly expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters. What do you mean you tried to change? You mean you you play had a new playthrough, or you talking about the save that you had? Because you got to do it before you start the game. You're it's in the character creation. I think that's everything. Uh, now Kelly doesn't have anything. Joker. Hey, Commander. We just got a shipment of armor delivered to the Normandy. It's from a group of Alliance soldiers who used to be stationed at Rhode Island. Don't know how they found this. It left a note and it says, you'll need this more than we do. The armor is called Reckoner Knight, or something you can check it out in the equipment locker. Man, those arm spikes look like they could take out an eye. Joker. Sure, I'll take a look at it. I didn't get the achievement. Uh, yeah, it takes away my power damage, power recharge, it's all gone. Goes to the health, shields, goes to melee damage. Takes away my headshot, takes away half of my weapon damage. I can't do it. So you what you were continuing from a spot before, or it's like uh, you finished the game before and then you picked the same character again. So that means you had all your weapons and your levels, right? If that's what I think you did. I got to deliver the pipe. Give him the pipe. Oh, okay, yeah, you imported your character. Yeah, by doing that, it starts you with the same character. Well, what you could do is what I did on my Renegade. I just copied the. Uh, I didn't copy and paste, I just took a picture of what. She looked like as a renegade, and I uh, I use the same features for her and uh, as a paragon right now. Thanks, Commander. That GX12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is Edie? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't I tell Joker. He'll get jealous. <laughs> We're still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. 
I'm not sure, but I think when you import a character, it just, it just gives you what you had. Like, um, when you import your ME1 character on the same character. I don't know what it's called. I tried to do... Uh, what I did the first time I tried to recopy one of my characters is... Like, um, at the beginning of ME1, I ask you, uh, do you want to uh, customize or default or... You want there's a third option on that I had because I, I already beat the game once. Do you want to use the same ID tags? I tr I was going to use that to have like her look the same, but do something different like a different class or something like that. But it just uh, re put me back in at uh, level 29 and all she had all her weapons. That's what happened for me though.